sok innen, amit szólják, mint a műsorát. Ennek egy kakami osicsik, kajakosicsik, tamestak. The Métis Nation is at a critical turning point for the protection and revitalization of our Métis languages. The generation of fluent Machif speakers is passing away. The Machif language is considered critically endangered, which means urgent action is required for Machif to survive. A lot of people lost their language with the 60s scoop. Residential schools, day schools, and moving away from small communities. So if you don't have somebody to speak to, you start to lose it. And so that's what we have to bring back. For the Métis Nation, our official language declared in the year 2000 by our General Assembly is Michif. But we also know that many of our people also speak other indigenous languages, such as Dene, Cree, uh, Soto, and of course, those are important to us as well. Language is part of who you are in your culture. And you need to understand that from, if you were us as Indigenous people, if you were us as the Métis people, if you lose your language, you're going to lose a piece of who you are. And that's why we need to do our darnest to protect it. The whole language will only survive if it's done in a big way. Uh, and, and there's not too many of us left. The language experts and educators of the Métis Nation have the skills, the expertise, and the experience to turn this situation around, if they have the right framework and support for doing so. The Indigenous Languages Act became law on June 21st, 2019. This act was one of the first laws in Canada to be developed through direct partnership between Indigenous peoples and the federal government. The Métis Nation built the foundation for this partnership over many years. In 2017, the Métis Nation signed the Canada-Métis Nation Accord as the basis for renewal of the Métis Nation Crown relationship on a nation-to-nation, -nation, government to government basis. Language was a key priority of that accord. Following the accord, the Métis Nation organized a series of engagement sessions with Métis Nation governing members, affiliate institutions, language speakers, educators, and citizens in late 2017 and early 2018 to identify the priorities that we wanted to see reflected in national language legislation. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with all of you Kakioma Mitchiff speakers. What better way to help fulfill the vision of our great leader, Louis Riel, than to have Michif again as our first language in our living rooms across our nation. In 2018, the Métis Nation, along with the Assembly of First Nations and the Inuit Taparit Kanatami, entered into a formal co-development process with the federal government to draft legislation on Indigenous languages. The Act contains the following five key elements. Element number one, a rights-based framework. The Indigenous Languages Act recognizes that the reclamation, revitalization, maintenance, and strengthening of Machif and other Indigenous languages is a right protected under the Constitution and in international law. This has significant implications for Canada's responsibilities. The Act states that Canada recognizes that the rights of Indigenous peoples recognized and affirmed by Section 35 of the Constitution Act 1982 include rights related to Indigenous languages and recognizes that all relations with Indigenous peoples must be based on the recognition and implementation of their right to self-determination, including the inherent right of self-government. The purposes of the Act include establishing a framework to facilitate the effective exercise of the rights of Indigenous peoples that relate to Indigenous languages and contribution, and 
to the implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples as it relates to Indigenous languages. Element number two, self-determined and distinctions-based. Secondly, the Indigenous Languages Act recognizes the importance and necessity of the Métis Nation leading the work of reclaiming, revitalizing, maintaining, and strengthening Michif and other Indigenous languages. The Act states that Indigenous peoples are best placed to take the leading role in reclaiming, revitalizing, maintaining, and strengthening Indigenous language. It also acknowledges a flexible approach that takes into account the unique circumstances and needs of Indigenous groups, communities and peoples is required in light of the diversity of identities, cultures and histories of Indigenous peoples. The Act further states, There is a need to take into account the unique circumstances and needs of Indigenous elders, youth, children, persons with disabilities, women, men, and gender-diverse persons and two-spirit persons. Element number three, Office of the Commissioner of Indigenous Languages. A third key component of the Act is the creation of the Office of the Commissioner of Indigenous Languages, consisting of the Commissioner and up to three directors to help facilitate the Effective Implementation Act. Specific responsibilities of this new, independent office will include promoting Indigenous languages, supporting Indigenous peoples in reclaiming, revitalizing, maintaining, and strengthening our languages, carrying out research and promoting innovation, and assessing the effectiveness of how the Act is being implemented. Element number four, funding model. Fourth, the Act sets out a clear commitment to changing the way that the federal government funds Indigenous languages and supports. The Act requires the federal government to ensure that funding for Indigenous languages is adequate, long-term, and sustainable. It is up to the Métis Nation to define what adequate, long-term, and sustainable means for us. Element number five consultation and evaluation. Finally, the Act requires further consultation with the Métis Nation and other Indigenous peoples as part of the implementation process. There will also be formal evaluation processes, including through the new Office of the Commissioner of Indigenous Languages. The Métis Nation will continue to work with the Métis Nation governing members, affiliate institutions, language speakers, educators, and citizens to ensure our voice is heard during these processes. Language is so important to identify with the nation. It's going to be exciting how to see how we can keep it alive. <laughs>